Hey there, Steve Glazier here, meteorologist uh, for you on snowcountry.com. Snowcast is our weekly weather forecast. It's time to talk about the second week of March. Hopefully the month has been going well for you. We begin in the west where we have activity that is already ongoing Thursday morning, continues through Friday night, clears out for the weekend, and it's really widespread across the Rockies into the Pacific Coast. Then we have another pretty widespread shot at snow on Monday and into Tuesday. It'll be diving from the British Columbia Rockies and Canadian Rockies all the way down into the U.S., clearing out by Wednesday. For the east, it's active as well. Your cold Thursday, a little uh, smaller, weaker system on Friday for the Mid-Atlantic. Then the upper Midwest gets in on it uh, this weekend with uh, transitioning to some rain for parts of the southeast and mid-Atlantic states and parts of the northeast. Windy, colder on Monday, and then clearing out Tuesday and Wednesday. So here's what's coming across the country. This belt of snow, first of all, is Thursday. Then as we get over here, it's Friday. It affects parts of the mid-Atlantic. This is lake effect snow for New York State and some light flurries in New England. And then this is generally ongoing Thursday morning and lasting through Saturday morning. Highlights the Sierra Nevada, Utah, and Colorado, also parts of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. And you, anytime you see these orange or red colors, that's up to 24 inches of snow that leads into the weekend by Saturday morning. I've highlighted a couple of ski resorts that are coinciding with some of the heaviest model out puts. Here's uh, Cooper and Aspen in Colorado, Brighton and Sundance southeast of Salt Lake City in Utah. It's a snowfall into Saturday morning the 9th and then right in the heart of the Sierra from Mammoth to Dodge Ridge and North Star. So those are some of the highlights. To the north we go. We have some snow Thursday in British Columbia, but most of this snow on the map in western Canada falls on Monday and Tuesday, the 11th and 12th. And I've highlighted a couple here, Whistler, Sasquatch, and Kicking Horse. And just for you Canadian skiers or folks visiting, this is in inches. So for centimeters, this would be anywhere from about 10 centimeters here to about 30 centimeters there for the highlighted areas. The Midwest, I had mentioned a big old storm. This is Saturday afternoon to Sunday afternoon. The blue shows snow, the green shows rain, and all those lines, well, those are isobars. So the closer and more there are, uh, the more there are and the closer they are together, that means windy conditions here uh, across this area. So looks like some highlights here. Best snow into Wisconsin, Minnesota, parts of Iowa, and the Plains northern Michigan and of course Ontario this is the snowfall forecast from that the best potential is really in the six plus inch range right here but it will come with a lot of whiteout conditions and really gusty winds so be careful getting there I want to let you know about a smaller weaker system on Friday March 8th for the mid-Atlantic Pennsylvania Ohio West Virginia Virginia and Maryland it's a low pressure system bringing some light rain to the southeast anywhere you see in this light blue color here I'm highlighting it's one to two inches two to three in the next shade of blue and then the next shade of blue is three to four so it's kind of on the lighter side but just something there for the outlook into st patrick's day weekend tuesday the 12th to saturday the 16th colder than average weather conditions for much of the west where it looks favorable for some snow across the southern rockies a little bit drier for the northern rockies in the immediate west coast wetter for much of the eastern u.s but some of that may mix in again with some warmer weather conditions so that's the latest here from coast to coast and nation to nation on snowcountry.com i'm meteorologist steve glazier and uh, we'll see you back here next week